Hello there, in this video, I am going to show you how to control LEDs or devices using NodeMCU and Blink 2.0. To test this, we need a NodeMCU or any Wi-Fi capable board, two 330 ohm resistors and two LEDs. First, I place the NodeMCU on the breadboard. Then I connected two LEDs to pin D2 and pin D4 through the resistors. So basically that's all about the hardware connections. Now let's connect the NodeMCU to the computer and let's set up the code. To control the NodeMCU through the Blink app, first we have to go to blink.cloud. From there, log in or sign up with your email ID. So this is the Blink IoT platform page. Now click on new template to create a template. In the coming window, I gave the LED test as the template name and I chose ESP8266 as hardware and Wi-Fi as the connection type and click done. Now go to data streams, click on new data stream and select virtual pin. Now in the coming window, give the title and select data type as integer because we are just turning on and off the LED and finally click on create. Now in the same way, I created one more data stream to control the second LED. Now go to web dashboard and drag and drop switch icon and click on the switch icon and select the settings tab. In the settings tab, select the data stream and save. I did the same for the second switch and saved. Finally, I saved everything. Now go to Arduino IDE and select Tools, Include Library, Manage Library and search and install Blink Library. After installing, open examples, Blink Agent, then Agent ESP8266. So this is the example code, here we have to modify according to our purpose. First we have to add the template id and device name. For that go back to the Blink IoT page and copy it from there and paste it into the Arduino IDE. Then uncomment the node MCU line. Here I modified to turn on and off the digital pins according to the app data. After this, I uploaded the code to NodeMCU. Now in the serial monitor, you can see the status of NodeMCU. Now let's set up the app. For that, go to Play Store and search and install Blink IoT app. After opening the app, log in with your previously used email ID. Now click on add new device, then click ready. So it will detect our NodeMCU. Click on that, so it will connect. Next, give the Wi-Fi credentials. After that, finish the settings. After that, click on Setup Dashboard. Now select two buttons from the top right tab. Now click on each button and select the data stream. Also change the type to Switch and Save. So that's all about app making. Now let's test the working. You can see the perfect working of this project. We can use a relay instead of LEDs and control electric devices with this. So that's all about today. Hope you enjoyed and learned something from my video. If so, please like share and subscribe that's all up to you i will see you next time